if you guys your November readings, okay? November, all right? November 2019, all right? So let's see what messages we have for my Sagittarius. These messages are general reads. This could be your energy or a partner or someone around you's energy, okay? That I could be picking up on. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, check your moon and your rising sign. Messages there may resonate, okay? Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. All right, so let's get into some things. All right, there could be multiple people here. Okay, all together here we have five people. There could be third party energy involved. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We got the King of Cups. So, no, you guys are I'm getting like in your feels. Okay, some of you guys might be in your feels. All right, let's see. They're ready to talk. I want to shuffle two times um, just because I just get that you guys have some type of balance or are trying to get some type of balance possibly in a um, romantic situation or whatever it may be. These, res these messages are general, so it could be love, work, health, whatever. Whatever pops out is what I'm going to read. All right, so... Let's just hop right into it, okay? Sagittarius for the month of November. What messages are there for Sagittarius for November? All right, yep. See, bottom of the deck, guys. We have you guys. Is There's an opportunity here for forward movement. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or a Cancer or a earth sign virgo taurus capricorn but we also have you guys this is could possibly be new love okay but for some of you guys this is possibly past romance i feel like that messages are coming in okay and they are romance and energy okay very romantic messages like romeo and juliet type of energy here all right so let's see i'm excited all right let's see First card we have is the Knight of Swords, okay? So you could be rushing towards someone, rushing in or rushing out, or someone here is just feeling like really, really, you know, irrational or feeling like they're rushed, they, they need to rush. Okay, look for a second chance. The challenge is the Judgment card, okay? So this is actually a Judgment call or a second chance in a situation or a final decision, okay? All right, we got the death card, Scorpio's energy. All right, so maybe you feel like you don't want to rush to make a decision here. Some of you guys could be already in a long-term commitment. Some of you guys could be married, okay? Some of you guys, this is about stability, okay? Home life. What's crowning you is the Eight of Cups, okay? So I really do feel like for some of you guys you may possibly want to get the hell out of a situation but you haven't made a final decision yet i feel like you aren't ready to make the decision moving ahead we got you guys taking control though we have you guys being in control of this decision okay so some of you guys are going to be you know standing in your truth your light this is aries energy some of you guys could be dealing with an aries okay but i feel like you guys are going to be taking more control okay I feel like for some of you guys, you possibly are married um, and you possibly are considering walking away or out of this situation. Some of you guys have new love, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are most definitely married here. For some, I'm picking up that some of you guys want to walk away and close the chapter. I feel like some of you guys have some new energy coming in, okay? All right, so yeah, you're feeling more in control um, to make your own decision, okay? There's a commitment here, but I feel like there also could be um, arguments or fights that you guys are dealing with possibly at home and home life, or this could even be like church or a place of like, you know, I'm picking up church or something to that nature because we got the Hierophant here as well as the Four of Wands. So it's something about like possibly like a building, a family get together or something involving family or stability. But the Taurus card here, um, the Hierophant is the card of Taurus. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, but there's some type of commitment here, but there is also disagreements in this situation, okay? 
I feel like you don't want to put the fight in on something anymore, okay? So you're deciding on whether or not to walk away from a situation, okay? And I feel like you are like at your wits end, okay? How they look at you, they look at you as the provider or they look at you, you um, could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but... Um, they look at you as more so like, you know, business oriented. They look at you as possibly the provider, the one who, um, you know, is more stable. I feel like you want happiness. Okay, you, you want happiness. There's something here that you want to close off and start fresh on, okay? Um... I'm just getting like, you guys have been giving someone your ass to kiss. It's just, it's just exactly what I'm getting here. You don't want to put any more fight into this. Whoever you may be dealing with, I got King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Definitely Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. Okay, maybe for some of you guys, this is a third party situation. Because we have the Seven of Swords here with the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. Um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved. Um... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or even a fire sign like yourself. But there could be like allegations of possible cheating or lying or deception. I feel like you're very disappointed in this situation. You no longer want to be in this situation. You're wanting to close this chapter and start fresh, start new. Okay, we have Queen of Cups here. So there's most definitely something here about Twin Flame or... Um, having a balance because we have the king of pentacles queen of pentacles queen of cups king of cups and they're they're like boom boom right across from each other facing each other more so on one end it's the king of cups the other end is the queen of cups some of you guys have other options that you feel like you feel more in control of or someone is making for some of you guys this could be i'm picking up um third party energy could be involved in this situation okay we got the seven of cups here this is most definitely having options okay i feel like you want to feel more in control um so you possibly are looking for someone that is more submissive okay someone that is you know just more nurturing and caring this person may be um, that you're dealing with may be all about finances and career and money and you're wanting to kind of back out of that okay yeah i feel like some of you guys are afraid of the conflict that this may bring because there is a commitment here we got the eight of swords this is like you in your head about it or feeling stuck and that five of wands afraid that it may bring some type of conflict they may be aware that you want some type of justice or they may be aware of what it is exactly that you want but i'm not sure if they're completely giving that energy to you i feel like you have been trying you've been giving this your all you've been putting a lot of energy into this situation but i feel like you're really at this point of i want to cut this off okay I feel like you gave this a lot of work. You put a lot of work in it. And then I feel like you are most definitely, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo, but we most definitely have your outcome here as the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is emotional fulfillment. This is the energy that everyone wants, okay? And it's most definitely clarified here with the Sun card, Leo's energy. But this is the most positive energy ever that you can never get in a reading as an outcome okay but i feel like you're on the lookout for that okay you're on the lookout for your happiness and i feel like whatever this is that you're in right now currently you're not happy in it okay why is the knight of swords here we got the strength card okay so you're trying to have the courage to push through this situation for some of you guys I feel like some of you guys want someone to regret something. Um, they could be like regret. You possibly want them to regret hanging out or partying or or um, hanging out with friends of some sort. But I feel like you guys are most definitely um, on the lookout for your happiness. And I feel like you aren't finding it here is what I'm getting. It's most definitely what I'm getting. 
All right, so that was a straightforward um, message. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few more cards to see what other messages we have. Okay, the first card is going to be you guys' energy, how you feel about your partner. And then the second card is going to be your partner's energy. And the third card is going to be what course of action that they are going to be taking towards you. All right, so let's see. feel like there could be a tower moment okay for some of you guys this could be a divorce okay we got the four of wands and the tower okay so this could most definitely be a big hit towards your stability okay i feel like for some of you guys this could be like a divorce or a separation um on the horizon okay so let's see let's um see what other messages are there for Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius feel about his partner? How does Sagittarius' partner feel about them? And what course of action are they going to take towards Sagittarius? It's something about having the courage to say something. Okay, so let's see. Page of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Hermit card, okay? You've been holding back. You've been holding back, okay? You've been holding back, communicating with this person. There may be rarely any communication with this person. I feel like this person feels defeated. You could be dealing with a Leo, uh, but this person feels defeated, okay? Um, the course of action that they're going to be taking is to turn their back and walk away or give you some space is what I'm getting, okay? Because we have the Hermit and the Eight of Cups, all right? And this is both energy of, you know, turning your back. I feel like with the Hermit card, this is most definitely walking away to do some soul searching, okay? Turning your back. Um, because you just need some space, okay? Just need some time to think. And then we have the Eight of Cups, okay? So this is walking away from this situation. You've been holding back. I feel like with this Ten of Cups here, um, I feel like you have been minimally communicating with this person on how you feel. They could be feeling as if there's, you know, disagreements, arguments, and yeah, they they are heartbroken and sad because someone is deciding to walk away or they feel like they have no other choice but to walk away and this person is heartbroken, okay? This person is sad because they have to walk away from the situation. You're wanting to see things change, okay? You're looking for some type of things, something to change and go, go in your favor. But I feel like you've been holding back communicating exactly what it is that you want. Or you have been, and you've just gotten to the point where you're just tired of doing it. Um, maybe this, I'm getting talking to possibly like a, a counselor um, because I'm picking up as well as they just feel defeated. And I feel like with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups, this is making me think like counselor in energy. Maybe they want to talk to like someone who can help you guys uh, fix the relationship. But yeah, they are most, I'm getting divorced, okay? I'm picking up on divorce or separation here with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So for some of you guys, this is possibly a separation, okay? So I'm going to pull a few more cards from the Love Oracle deck and let's see what messages does the Romance Angels have for you guys. All right, so Sagittarius. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Look, we got release your ex, okay? 
You got release your ex. I feel like they could be feeling as if you were their true love. They really um, felt like this was going to last and this, is going, this was a romance of a lifetime. Um, and I feel like they're just distressed that, you know, this situation isn't going in the right, you know, in the right way or the way that they thought that it would, okay? We got forgiving and learning, finances and career, okay? So maybe money could possibly be an issue, all right? So let's see, how does it feel about Sagittarius? I feel like they're trying to stay optimistic, okay? And, and they, they're wanting to um, fix the chemistry. They feel like you're their soulmate as well. What messages are there for Sagittarius? This is giving me a straight, direct message, guys. Like, this it isn't any two or three stories. This is giving me one specific story. Okay, so... We have romantic feelings there and stay optimistic about your love life. So they're most definitely trying to stay positive, okay, about this. Um, and they really do have romantic feelings for you. Their feelings for you are real, okay. We got honeymoon, okay. So this is, you know, yeah, we got wedding. For a lot of you guys, this most definitely is about a marriage, okay. And we have attraction, Okay, I'm going to pull a few clarifiers because I want to go a, a little deeper here. Okay, we got the tower that wanted to jump out. Okay, so there's something here about some type of conflict, okay? Somebody is stuck in their head over some conflict. And we got Queen of Pentacles, could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone is standing their ground trying to defend themselves. But I feel like, why is the tower card here? Queen of Wands. Okay, so there could be someone else involved here with this Queen of Wands energy. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay, before I say anything, let's see. Yeah, they're having regrets because they feel as if they let their guard down. Okay, and I feel like someone snuck in. Somebody is most definitely having regrets because somebody is a big time player right now. Okay, somebody is big time playing here. And I, let's see what, what why is wedding here. Clarify wedding. Saying that this situation involves marriage. Why is wedding here? Okay, we got the chariot card. Cancer is energy, okay, but this is most definitely forward movement and progression, okay? Somebody is wanting to be more in control and break free, okay? Somebody's been, feel as if someone has been holding them back, okay? And somebody is most definitely wanting to break free, okay? Somebody wants more control over their, over their life, okay? And somebody is trying to break free here. Why is chariot guard here? Yeah, somebody's moving on from this, okay? This is this situation is a big disappointment, okay? Somebody is no longer um, interested here, okay? They feel like you guys aren't aren't interested, okay? And you have thrown in the towel and you're ready to drop this load, okay? They may have may feel like you've been dragging your feet. They possibly have been picking up on this. Um, but they feel like you are ready to move on from this. Okay, we have attraction. Why is attraction here? Why is attraction here? Clarify attraction. Okay, they feel as if you aren't attracted to them anymore, okay? We got the three of swords. And they feel left out in the cold, okay, and sad and, like, thrown away. They feel thrown away, okay? Let's see. Why is the three of swords here? They may also feel like that there's a third-party energy here that you are more attracted to. This person could be very much so a hottie, you know, um, it's very well kept, you know, keeping themselves up, and they may feel as if you're more attracted to an outside individual. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, the moon, Pisces, is energy, okay? 
But we have secrets, things that are hidden. Okay, why is the moon here? Seven of Cups, they feel like you have other options, okay? This is really like, and, and they are they are afraid. They are scared, okay? They are scared, okay? And it's, it's causing confusion. All right. This is most definitely giving me one storyline. So this message is meant for someone in particular. All right. So if this message seemed to resonate, guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section, guys. Because this message was straight cut and dry. <laughs> straight cut and dry, okay? Um, if you would like to book your very own personal reading, guys, that information should come across the screen at some point in this video. If not, it's in the description box below. All right? And until next time, guys, ciao for now. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like the shooting star I be my own lane, no movie star If this ain't no act, I can't play your part My aura bright like the morning star Moving fast like the shooting star I be my own lane, no movie star If this ain't no act, I can't play your part Doctor's vibrating higher I got the heat, I'm on fire The Empress of the Empire Got a love desire.